Hey, it's Chris Loud with another 15 minute warm up painting exercise. You can see today that I don't have a blank page. I'm using a painting or a sheet that I had started painting on and then started playing around and experimenting with some different colors and tools. Uh, I can even see some striped collage paper on there. This was something that I had on a board and completely forgot about. It was on the back of this board and I flipped it over and thought, now oh, this looks like some good uh, underpainting for a 15 minute warm up. Uh, it has some good texture to it as well. I'm gonna do something a little different this time and actually put the painting, what it looked like after 15 minutes on the left of the screen here. And then at the end of the 15 minutes, I did play with it a little bit more, added a little bit more color. So I'll show you that as well at the end. And uh, today, when I came into the studio, I saw that painting and thought, well, I want to play a few more minutes with it. So I'll show you what that looked like as well. Just add a little bit more color and, and played around with it. So the colors I'm using on this are Thalo Yellow Green, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, Yellow Ochre, Payne's Gray, Titanium White, and Cobalt Blue. And today I added a little bit of Windsor Blue, Cerulean Blue, and Vermilion. So I'll list those all in the description if you want to see what I was using. But uh, as you can see now, it's kind of uh, a little muddy. Um, 15 minutes and I'm blending a bunch of different colors together. I'm um, just trying to figure out where I'm kind of headed with this one. But this minimal, uh, excuse me, minimalist landscape painting, um, I've done this before, not in a 15 minute time frame, but um, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I actually had a good time doing this as well. You can see my board's a little loose, uh, it's moving around a little bit. But I didn't use a lot of tools. I, I think I brought a brayer in and, and played with that for um, just a few seconds and realized that I, I didn't want to keep doing that. But I have the silicone paintbrush and mostly um, a paintbrush and a palette knife a little bit in there. And then obviously I'm blending with my fingers here as well. And I did start sketching it out with a water-soluble crayon, uh, I believe a white water-soluble crayon, so I could see it a little better. Some of you actually asked me if I do any sketching before I do these 15-minute warm-up paintings, and it, it kind of depends. Um, I can show you what this sketch is, and it's very simple. Uh, just trying to kind of figure out what, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to start. So this is it here, as you can see, very simplistic. Um, sometimes I do a little sketches uh, depending on what I'm doing. If it's just something I'm kind of free painting, uh, I don't. I just pick out some colors and I just start making marks and putting paint down and seeing what jumps out at me. So every once in a while I do, uh, but, but not that often. And we're coming up on the, the end here. Um, and just, you know, remember this, this isn't supposed to be a masterpiece when you do these 15 minute paintings. They're, they're warm ups. Um, they're probably most of the time going to look like a warm-up. Sometimes a lot better, you're going to be really pleased with them, and sometimes they don't work out, but uh, you painted, and that's what this is all about, painting and loosening up and having a good time. So here's the painting I finished after 15 minutes. I tinkered with it, took a little bit of the color away and lightened it up a little, and here is what uh, I did this morning. Add a little bit of the vermilion uh, and uh, play with the color a little bit, brighten that up some. So if you like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these. And uh, thanks for watching and keep painting.